Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. This is another hands-on lab uh, getting started with Apache Hori. In this project, we are going to essentially have producer producing mass messages into a Kafka topic and essentially we have a streaming glue job which is running 24-7. It's going to receive message real time and then basically we're going to insert those messages into our data like S3, right? Um, why hoodie because uh, we can do an absurd on the data lake we can delete we can insert we can run time travel queries and a lot lot more right schema evolution etc etc i have more than about 15 videos on apache hoodie in case if you want to check that out these are all project oriented hands-on lab um, i have made videos on streaming ingestion um, again using glue uh, kinesis then i have a video on uh, bringing in data from relational database using dms and all these are ama amazing hands-on exercise with code so today's project is gonna be uh, ingest streaming data into apache hori tables using glue apache hori delta streamer so let's get started i'm excited so this is a post by vishal patak anand prakash thank you so much guys for uh, sharing this uh, article uh, and the solution so for this project uh, you know again we are going to connect to the kafka using an ec2 instance right uh, which is inside a vpc we're going to publish certain message to a topic that is a kafka topic right and then the glue streaming jog is going to basically take the data from this kafka topic ingest them into the data lake uh, we can run ad hoc queries using athena and, and basically that's the solution so uh, again we are going to try this lab out so i hope you are excited uh, to do a hands-on lab right so the first thing that i want to uh, do is what i want to do is first of all we're going to create a hoodie connector so come to your AWS management console. By the way, this lab is not under the free tier. So if you're gonna try this out, there will be a cost associated to that. So I'm gonna go to the AWS glue, right? And then I'll basically uh, flush everything out because I, I did this uh, project um, in the morning and I'm recording this uh, session um, in the late evening. So the first thing that we wanna do is basically come to the connection section. Here, first of all, we need to have a Apache hoodie connector. Go to AWS Marketplace, <clears throat> search for hoodie, uh, hoodie, click here, click on continue so to subscribe, uh, click on continue configuration, select glue 3.0, select Apache hoodie version 0.10.1, click on launch. Uh, click on usage information and then the blue button that says activate glue connector now type in the name for the connector as hoodie connection hoodie and everything is lowercase okay so type this name and then click on the orange button that says save i've already done that step and the next step is essentially to spin up the entire infrastructure that is ec2 kafka uh, your vpc um, security group everything etc etc so uh, what I'm going to do is basically, um, again, uh, they have given the steps in a very nice way. So I think the authors have done a fantastic job here. So come, come down and then again, in this blog, I had to make certain tweaks to make it work. And hence, uh, I think this video will really benefit you if you're trying to get started with Apache Hori and Delta Streamer. So now what you want to do is basically come down and basically click on launch stack. So here you can see right now, basically just follow the steps here along with me or you can follow the steps along the blog. They are all given and I'll, I'll basically in my video, I'll show you what all things I'm changing, right? So here I'm giving the stack name, here I'm giving my public IP address slash 10, right? The way you can find that is say, what's my IP? You'll get it and then insert that into the client IP cider. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is um, put a hoodie connection, right? We essentially um, just did the steps for the hoodie connector. So I'm putting in that, that, that part here. This part over here, the key name, uh, you can generate a key name if you don't have. So the way you would do that is head over to the EC2 instance, uh, head over to the instances, uh, click on launch instance. And then here, there should be an option for you to um, create one. So give it a name and then just click on create key pair and then just download that okay uh, so I have, I've done that I'm selecting that and rest everything shall be default I'm gonna click on next and then here all that is gonna be back to again default click next all the way in the bottom section say I acknowledge and click submit now at this point uh, you are all set this might take about 15 minutes and again you can see um, the stack is in progress 
so what i encourage you to is you know just go go grab a cup of coffee again this is going to take a while right so please be patient here and we're going to be back once the stack is complete this is going to basically deploy a um, lot of stuff that is an ec2 instance a kafka cluster um, a kafka cluster with all the settings vpc nat gateway etc 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 and s3 bucket and blue job of course so everything is going to be deployed and once that is deployed uh, we'll uh, do the next steps okay so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to resume once the this is complete okay finally it is ready it took almost about 25 minutes uh, to you know <laughs> for the kafka cluster but uh, as you can see the stack is uh, now complete okay now we want to do a couple of things here the the first thing we want to do is go to the output section and then here uh, target s3 bucket okay copy that on a notepad file i'll basically put it here okay the next thing that you want to do is uh, go to the msk part and then you we need the bootstrap url so i'm gonna click here and view client information and this is the one that you want to copy click on this button okay and paste that on the notepad too as well okay so that's my bootstrap url okay so i have my s3 bug here and the bootstrap url the next thing that we want to do is basically we might want to do a small tweak here okay and i'll tell you what that is so um you can search for the vpc and then you want to cl click on this vpc uh, mine is basically de6c your might be a diff little different one so click on that and a small hack we have to do here okay i'll explain you the hack now um go to the security groups um now you'll see a lot of security groups but we need the one with the kafka so i'm assuming this is the one but i'm just gonna double check so for that i will go to my msk cluster uh click here and i think uh, somewhere in the properties i should see um the security group yeah the one ends with uh, 9d so back into my vpc and that's the one again the, the, there should be a name called kafka sample as she click on that the hack that you want to do is click on inbound rule edit inbound rule click on add rule and for the project basically say all traffic and then basically select uh anywhere within ipv4 okay click on save rule and same we want to do, do for the outbound as well so i'll add basically add rule i'm gonna say all traffic uh, from anywhere within uh, IPv4. Okay, so that's good. Now, basically, now head over to an EC2 instance. We need to connect to our Kafka uh, cluster. Okay, so I'm uh, again the stack should create all these. Okay, so now head over to the instance running. Click here, and there's a button that says connect. Click on that. <coughs> then click on the button that says connect, and here you should see a cloud terminal. Um, again, let's wait for a second or two to create. Now, the first thing that you want to do is say sudo su. Uh, basically, uh, just as a root user here, as you can see. <coughs> Oof, excuse me. Now, do an ls. You should see all these project directory here. And basically, what we want to do is first we wanna um, first we wanna basically create a Kafka topic. So I have this command. This command is also there on the blog section, right? So what I'll do is I'll paste this one here. Again, it will be there in the description section below. So we're gonna create a, a topic called Hodi Delta Stream Demo, okay? And here you see the Bootstrap URL. Paste the Bootstrap URL that you paste, uh, copy pasted, right? So I this is my Bootstrap URL. I'm gonna right click, copy. Um, I'm gonna remove all these stuff that I had and paste this inside okay now copy this copy uh let me just copy and then head over here and then paste that one in and click enter you should see something called created topic so basically um yeah create a topic perfect so what we did is basically we made a kafka topic where we're going to publish data right now in the same ec2 instance you will have a file a demo json file which we're gonna publish data so what i'll do is i just want to show you so i'm gonna do a cat and i'll do a delta streamer uh, and here you can see i have some four json records that we're gonna publish to the kafka topic okay the next command is pretty straightforward we're gonna publish the that data so again the same thing right uh, that's the command right i'm gonna replace the url with my bootstrap uh, kafka bootstrap url right 
So I'm going to remove all these one here. And uh, let me just copy. Again, I'll leave all the commands. And again, it's there on the block too, okay? So now over here, put that one here. Don't run it yet. We have to do certain things, okay? Before we publish certain messages, now what I want you to do is um, head over to your glue. I'm going to close all this stuff. I don't need it. Uh, that's my uh, MSK. That's the um, okay. So now here, uh, open a tab, uh, open a glue console on a new tab. I have it here. Uh, I don't have any database as you can see here. And then head over to the job section, and we need to do certain changes here. Okay, you will see a job called Hoodie Delta Streamer Streaming Job, right? Head over to the job details. Scroll all the way on the bottom section uh, on the advance, and uh, you should see something called Kafka bootstrap server you want to paste your bootstrap server over here so what I'll do is uh, I'll copy this or maybe I'm just gonna copy from the MSK console it's the same thing doesn't really matter so here view client information I'm gonna click on this copy and that's done so now coming here in this particular option I will remove everything and I'm gonna paste my bootstrap URL that's the only thing that I need to change here okay Click on save. I want to show the job. It's pretty straightforward. It's a Scala job. Again, doesn't really matter. Scala, Python, the same thing at the end of the day. Here you can see we are defining all the hoodie configuration. So here we are, we must be listening to a Kafka topic, which is over here. And if I zoom in, a little hard to scroll here, but um, here, hoodie streamer source Kafka topic. That's the topic. And we just made the topic through the EC2 machine, right? We essentially created a topic where we're going to publish data. Now what we need to do uh, is we will publish a data. So I'm going to copy this particular send code here. Uh, before we do that, um, actually open up an S3 bucket on a new tab as well. And again, we copied this from the cloud formation output section. So I'm going to put this one here. That's the bucket. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll publish certain data points into a Kafka topic. So going back to my EC2 machine, pub, uh, putting the one here and enter so here you will see certain you know so this one means that we have published the data to the kafka topic now i can start my glue job uh, let me just make sure yeah so now you can start the glue job again this is a streaming job right so it's gonna be working 24 7 so i'm gonna start that one in so here you can see the job has started and again i'll try to publish message so at this point if duplicate messages are there um, we are doing performing an absurd operation on the data lake. So we won't have duplicates on the data lake. So, okay. Again, the messages have been inserted. I'm going to clear the terminal. And at this point, I simply need to wait um, for this um, glue job to process that data. And basically, uh, within a short amount of time, you'll see uh, hoodie tables being created. And in the glue database as well, uh, here you'll see a database called default. And then here within that default, you will see um, a table. So at this point, I simply need to wait since I did publish certain data points and uh, into the Kafka topic, the glue job is going to process that and again insert into the um, Apache Kodi uh, transaction data lake. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to just um, uh, wait and, and, and then resume once the, you know I see certain data points. Let me just go to the S3 quickly. Oh, there you go, guys. You see, um, I have data here, right? Product table, product folders. That's great. Actually, I didn't want to pause it, but that's fine. So again, this is all the Hori metadata. Hori maintains all that, right? I can go into the Hori folder again. Just the, the, again, Hori maintains all the metadata for you. So I'm going to insert certain more data points just to make sure. Again, publishing messages to Kafka. So that's the beauty, right? So we essentially publish the same messages, which means we publish duplicate events. But on the data like you won't have duplicates. That's the beauty, right? Because we are doing an absurd operation on the Apache Hori table. So that means not duplicate, right? Um, again, at this point, uh, if I go to my glue database, I, if I refresh here, I should see a default. That's absolutely great. And I see my Hori table. Yeah, that's great. So now if I go to the S3, uh, I should see certain parquet files or base uh, or data files. How do you call them as a data files, right? These are um, parquet files. Uh, you'll see that you will see them. So I'm going to come here, product table. And there you go. Uh, I hope you can see this, right? This is a parquet file, right? So now I can run ad hoc queries on my 
Deer Lake. So I can come to Athena. Simply refresh here. And I'll query this data over here. I can, as you can see, no duplicates, right? Four, four items and I had essentially four items in that JSON file. That's amazing. We did essentially entire lab. That's amazing, right? Now it's time for you to try this out, right? Unless you're gonna try, unless you're gonna spend time, you're not gonna learn it, right? To learn something new, you have to spend time, right? So take out some time on weekends, try these labs out, code is there, everything is there. Just click on the buttons and just try to understand the process. Okay, this is Kafka. Okay, this is glue. So data is coming from here to here and here to here. Once you understand, now start maybe tweaking the glue job. Maybe um, create one more topic and then create one more glue job and try to insert into a new table. Try things out, right? That's all I'm trying to say. That's how you are going to learn. Thank you so very much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. I have more than 15 videos on Apache Hoodie. I'll leave all the videos in the description. Please feel free to join our Slack community where there are more than 2,700 members. You can meet a lot of new people and learn more about Apache Hoodie. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and I'm going to see you in the next video.